Hi guys, today I want to talk about vitamin D. I'm Anthony D. Pasquale and I run my own website, anthonydpasquale.com. I'm a nutritionist in Toronto. I'm also a personal trainer. Today I want to talk about vitamin D. And there's a, there's a lot of fear being promoted, I think, around vitamin D because it is fat soluble. So people are saying, well, since it's fat soluble, it can accumulate in the liver and cause toxicity. Well, we've known, if we look at the research itself with humans, we've known since the 1920s, 30s, and 40s that vitamin D has a huge margin of safety. Okay, how big is it? I was looking for this, this book is legendary, not a very exciting cover, but I was looking for it for years, The Calcium Factor. So there's studies done in the 30s and 40s mostly that have humans taking 500,000 to 1 million IUs per day and there was no toxicity found. What they found was no hypercalcemia, no kidney problems, no liver problems, but they found an improved nutrition. So there was an improved sense of well-being and there was better calcium status, uh, better mineralization of the body. So vitamin D is involved in the use of most minerals, especially calcium. So we think about calcium and vitamin D, but vitamin D helps your body to use magnesium and phosphorus as well. One easy source of vitamin D, an old school kind of source, is cod liver oil. This is the brand that I use. Um, any decent cod liver oil will do. This cod liver oil here comes from Iceland. And so, how much would I recommend? I said up to a million I use in human research is safe. How much would I recommend? Well, vitamin D, the legal limit from what I understand is 1,000 I use per tablet. So if you live in a northern climate like I do in Canada, hello, uh, five to 10,000 I use a day would be fine. If you take that amount and you get, let's say you go and get a fake tan, so you're gonna produce a lot of vitamin D from fake tanning or real tanning under the sun, you're still not going to overdose because like I said, we have plenty of human research with half a million to one million I use per day. Uh, about five to 10 minutes a day of sun exposure would give you a few thousand I use, provided you weren't wearing too much clothes and you weren't wearing sunblock because sunblock will block most of vitamin D production. Um, so vitamin D is not just for calcium and magnesium, um, if it was just for that, it would be massively important already because these are alkaline minerals. So a lot of people are talking about alkalizing your body. So you can eat a lot of calcium and magnesium, you can take a lot of calcium and magnesium, but are you going to absorb this calcium and magnesium and use it in your body only if there's enough vitamin D present? So it really helps to alkalize your body because it helps you to use these alkaline minerals. Now beyond minerals, vitamin D helps your immune system. So if we look at the incidence of cancer, we see the southern USA has less cancer than the northern USA. We see that in general, northern countries have more cancer than southern countries because of sun exposure. Um, or the theorized link is sun exposure leading to more vitamin D production. If you are dark, the darker your skin is, the more you need vitamin D. So melanin, which is the pigment that would make skin darker, um, is also, so it protects from, from the sun, but just like a sunblock, it slows down the production of vitamin D. So the most at risk group of vitamin D uh, deficiency would be black people and brown people living in northern climates. But everyone living in a northern climate would benefit from taking a little extra vitamin D. Uh, natural foods that contain vitamin D would be butter and high fat dairy, so cream, whole milk, full fat cheeses would be a decent source of vitamin D. Like I say, if you're having those and you want to take an extra vitamin D supplement, that's cool. Um, vitamin D would also, it, it would help, could help to explain the incidence of multiple sclerosis. So this is an autoimmunity problem, but I, I use quotation marks because it's really low immunity, as I've seen from my clients that thank God I've been able to help quite well. So a lot of vitamin D helps, the, helps people not to develop these autoimmune conditions. So just like we see with cancer, with multiple sclerosis, we see a higher incidence in northern climates where people have less exposure, sun exposure than, than we do in the southern climates. How do I stand on fake tanning? Fake tanning judiciously done one to two times per week, never burn yourself in the fake bed, I think would be beneficial because you're going to make inositol hexaphosphate as well as vitamin D, which is the same action that the, that the, skin, uh, the sun has upon our skin. So thanks for tuning in and I'm going to make some more uh, videos about immunity because there's a lot of talk about vaccinations of which I'm totally against so I'm going to talk about how to keep your immunity strong. One of them of course is with vitamin D.
Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. It's anthonydepasquale.com.